I went inside Trader Joe's and I was really quick. Um, I hope everyone is wearing their masks like they're supposed to, especially in areas where it is required because they will not let you in if you don't have one. Um, but this is kind of the first time since all this started that it felt kind of normal, as normal as things can be with people wearing masks and gloves inside. Um, but they have lots of new things, which is exciting. And um, it does seem that things are getting a little bit more back to normal while people are still being cautious. It's very important. So I can't wait to show you what I got uh, when I get home. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. As you can tell, I am uh, in the 90s, I think. I texted my husband, I got these uh, new overalls. And I texted him a picture, I was like, look at my cute outfit. And uh, he's downstairs working. And he said that I look like a farm girl. But I think I look very much like I would be in style. As you can see my little Hollywood tee. Um, you know, back in the 90s. I feel like this is what we were all kind of wearing when we were kids. Now we're adults and we're bringing the fashion back. I kind of felt like a DJ Tanner <laughs> here for a second. But um, as you can tell by the intro, I went to Trader Joe's and like I said, Things are feeling a little bit more normal, I would say, as normal as things can be right now while the pandemic is still going on. Uh, we're in Alabama, so it wasn't hit quite as hard as like places like New York and California, but definitely still hit, so we're all very aware of that. And while things are opening back up and becoming more normal, we're still kind of playing it safe and staying in and just kind of seeing how things go. But hopefully we'll be able to enjoy, enjoy some of our summer and not spend it completely indoors, um, but we shall see. Hopefully people are still practicing social distancing and wearing your mask. That's the big one, like you saw with my frozen mask, that you're wearing your mask inside the stores. It's very important. In fact, in some places it is um, illegal not to come in with one, like Trader Joe's. You have to wear one when you go in um, in our state. So I'm gonna show you what I got, um, a little Trader Joe's haul. I haven't done one of these in a long time, uh, which is uh, the first time that I went to Trader Joe's today. Um, in a few weeks and it had new things which they hadn't had a ton of new stuff the last few weeks so that kind of added to the normalcy of things and um, I'll show you what I got I got some good things and um, yeah so I'll show it to you right now get the bag and this is our first bag as I bring it over I got two full bags of things and I'm very excited and if you haven't ever been to Trader Joe's or if you don't have one near you because I know we just got one like a few years ago like two or three years ago uh, it's super um, a lot of it's really healthy, a lot of it's not super expensive, but that's great too, especially during these times. But they have some really like unique and yummy things that uh, we absolutely love and there's always new stuff to try. So like I said, there hadn't been new stuff for a while, but today there was tons of new stuff. So I'll show you some of the spring, summer things that they have. Um, first off are these organic white couple potato chips. We have had these before. They didn't have any the last time I was in there, but I'm so excited they have them back because John and I love these. Uh, they're very good. They uh, taste like truffle. If you ever get truffles, like, um, like the white truffle on your, uh, French fries. So I'm trying to what I'm trying to say. French fries. It tastes very similar to that, except it has a crunch and it's just so good. So white truffle potato chips. These were new. Um, these were honey mustard um, pretzel pieces. So I'm not too keen on mustard just regularly, but I do like honey mustard uh, with my chicken nuggets <laughs> um, sometimes. So um, I just decided to try these because why not? You know they were new. Um, it says that they are subtly sweet and savory, so that's a good mix. You can't ever go wrong with that. Uh, next up is the Spring Jangle, and it's a cheerful mix of fan favorite candy treats. So, of course, that's all I need is, is candy, but I have been walking a lot, so I feel like it's justifiable. But you know what? We're also in quarantine, and also, who cares? You know, live your life. Uh, Yogurt-coated mini pretzels with pink and yellow dribble. That sounds festive. Um, milk chocolate peanut butter cups, dark chocolate peanut butter cups, spring candy gems. I thought it said germs, but it says gems. Um, broken pieces of dark chocolate, um, butter toffee peanuts. So you can kind of see everything that it has on it right there. So this is just a little snacky that uh, you can pick up that will get you in the spring spirit, I am sure. Okay, this is one thing that uh, I have to keep it. I, I can only limit myself like one or two pieces a day because it's so good. But it's these brownies and cookie quirkies. They are really, really good. They almost melt in your mouth. And if you, you know those like little brownie bites, they taste like that, except with like a cookie, like on top of it. It's really, really good. Probably not one of their healthier options, but uh, not as bad as some things. Uh, so definitely pick out some rookie bites. 
at Trader Joe's near you. Um, these I had to try. They're sprinkles walk in a sandwich cookie. They're butter cookies but with buttercream frosting and sprinkles. And if you know me, you know I love color. I'm trying to get the lighting there better. Uh, and these are just filled with color. And I think that they're super cute and probably really good. I love vanilla flavored things. Everything there is just like packaged so cute too. That's what I love about it. And they're not too bad. I mean, 140 calories. That's not uh, super bad. So that's something to look at. Uh, this I love is the sparkly water from there. I showed on my Instagram um, a few days ago about how to make a mocktail so that you're not, if you're not wanting to drink wine or alcohol every night, especially during quarantine, it's easy to make. Um, and actually, I'll just tell you right now, I like to just put in some of this mineral water. I tried the cranberry and clementine today, but usually I have it over here. I use the raspberry one, but I decided to get, oh, and I tried a grapefruit too. So all you do is you take ice, you put in some of your sparkling water, and then mix up any kind of fruit that you want. I'm gonna try a uh, watermelon because I got some watermelon today. So I'm gonna put some watermelon, but um, I have used grapes, I've used oranges, I've used lemons, limes, like everything. Just kind of put it in there together and you have a delicious fruit snack along with your uh, mocktail. So definitely something to try. I really like uh, the way that these um, taste because they have, if it's just seltzer water, it's just kind of bland tasting. But with this, it adds like a little bit of something. I had to try some of this since they are made in Greece. And as you know, my dad is from Greece, or you may not know. I don't know how you would unless I've mentioned it in one of these videos, but my dad is from Greece. So that makes me half Greek. And I decided to try these. Um, they're handcrafted uh, tahini based sweets. So uh, cocoa and vanilla uh, looks like it could be interesting. And I mean, I gotta support the Greek people. So why not be made in Greece? So definitely excited about trying those out. Uh, if I don't like them, I guess I can just pass them off to my dad uh, since he was born and raised there. So, oh! <laughs> I'm back, stuff was like falling everywhere. Um, the last thing was this little party cake and it was just really cute. And I don't know, I just feel like every day can be a cake day if you make it out to be. I really do feel like I'm an Olsen twin right now holding this really colorful cake in my overalls, you know, uh, circa full house. Not the super fashionable Mary Kate Ashley that we know. I'm talking about the 90s full house version. That's what I feel like right now. But this is in the first bag. Let me see what we have in the second bag. Okay, so I got my second bag here. And if you go, I don't know how other charges are set up, but I'm assuming that they are all set up like this. That in the back, there is a big shelf of things that has everything that's new there. So when I went back the other day, I saw so many new things that I was like, I just have to try almost everything. Uh, but these are some, some popcorn. And apparently it is, these are all the flavors it is. Tangy, salty, smoky, and spicy. And lightly sweetened. So you can't go wrong with this synergistical season popcorn. So some new popcorn to try. We've definitely been having a lot of movie nights and I cannot wait to try that as we have some snacks. Um, everything but the bagel, that's a very famous seasoning. It's like the name implies everything but the bagel. So everything that we find on uh, like an everything bagel, <laughs> that's what you would find on these. And I got some uh, almonds and cashews that have that. So something that's easy to snack on might not be super um, unhealthy. So um, as I was mentioning, some watermelon. I am obsessed with watermelon. It is my favorite. It might be my favorite fruit, but definitely my favorite summertime fruit. Uh, some bananas, which if you've seen my other videos, you know I love to make those fruit and yogurt bowls. So these are definitely a necessity for me. Uh, some strawberries, again, a classic. You can't go wrong with strawberries, have those in the fridge, especially when everything's in season right now. And finally, I just had to try this because I don't really know what I'm gonna put it on besides like toast or something but it's organic watermelon fruit spread. So if you liked watermelon, then I would say that this would be high on the list. So I don't exactly know what I'm gonna put it on, but it was just packaged so cute and I love watermelon that I thought, why not? You know, when in quarantine, we will try the watermelon fruit spread. So that is what I have today. John has joined us. John, what is your favorite? And you have Star Wars on because it's May 4th. Yeah. Your head's like getting cut off. You gotta scoot down because you're so much taller. Uh, it's May 4th. 
So Star Wars Day. Okay, first of all, what's your favorite thing from Trader Joe's and what's your favorite Star Wars movie? My favorite thing from Trader Joe's, I'm gonna get it out for you because I gotta show it, I don't know what it's called. Oh, okay. I know it, I know it's gonna, these are really good. And I stocked up on them the last time I went, so I wouldn't have to get any today. These are my favorite thing from Trader Joe's. They're ice cream sandwiches they with like really, chocolate really chips good. on them. They're absolutely phenomenal. I forgot to get them down. <laughs> I know, you got it. They're you absolutely know. phenomenal. So yeah, they're yeah, good. Laura, really, like, Laura likes them too. I do. I, whenever we're watching, we've been watching so many movies during quarantine that like that's our dessert as we, we love those. Uh, but what's your favorite Star Wars movie? Uh, my favorite Star Wars movie is actually, it's between Return of the Jedi and Force Awakens. I know everybody says Empire Strikes Back should be it, but uh, going through rewatching re them before episode nine, it was probably the Force Awakens, honestly. I think Force Awakens is my favorite too. I, I really like the last one. I liked, um, I liked all the new ones. I liked all the new ones. I mean, yeah, the original trilogy is probably still has it like historic status, but uh, better than the prequels at least. That's true, there's no Jar Jar Binks. No. So, look at all the exciting things I got from Trader Joe's. I know, right? <laughs> look at all the stuff, like a bag of chips. No, these are, this is popcorn. I just went, popcorn. Through, I went through explaining it. <laughs> and nuts. <laughs> Trader and Joe's you? is weird, by the way. Oh, hold on, these are really good too. I'm sure you talked about these. I did they are really these good. These are absolutely phenomenal. You said you had never been to Trader Joe's until I took you, and you love Trader Joe's now. I like Trader Joe's. It's weird. They got some weird stuff in there, but. But you are always very excited when we go in. Yes. And pretty soon, hopefully, in a few more weeks, we'll be able just to be walking around freely. Yeah. That's true. So, John, we have our snacks. We talked about Star Wars. And, yep, yeah, okay. <laughs> I think it's time to go. Thank you so much for joining me on this video today. I'm excited because I get to reveal my office soon that John has to help me hang up a shelf. But I'll get to show you because it was a disaster beforehand, was it not? Oh, and one last thing. John said I look like a, you said I look like a farmer. That's what I said at the beginning of the video, that I look like a farmer. You are wearing overalls. That's I what farmers like, I look like DJ Tanner. <laughs> Full out. Okay. <laughs> okay. On that note, we're going to let and you I'm, know. Yeah. And we're going to try this watermelon fruit spread at some point to see what else that goes on. But I look like Mary Kay and Ashley Olsen, don't I? <laughs> yes. Okay, thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give us a thumbs up and, re and, a and a response that you liked it. <laughs> Bye.